Okay, so in the previous tutorials, um, I showed you about how to then use the prepare statements and the bind parameter, the execute, fetch all, fetch, etc. etc. Um, now, what I did tell you is that to use bind parameter, you've got to pass the, the value, the variable, by reference. Therefore, you can't just put the value in here um, like this and so on. So you see user ID is equal to zero, you can't just put it in there. It actually needs to be a defined variable to be able to pass by reference. Okay, So this will only work um, if we actually put a variable in here. Now there's another way of doing it as well. So we can also say bind value. Now this is a little bit more um, flexible. Um, it doesn't need to be passed by uh, reference, it's passed by value instead. Um, so if we just add name here and then say David Dorn and we'll add then an and statement and statement to this and say name equals um, name up here. So now we're asking for everything from users where user ID is more than zero using bind parameter and name is equal to passed by value rather than passed by reference of David Thorne. Okay, now you see here we're executing and then we're just doing print our uh, fetch all. We'll just echo pre out here as well and then you can see the difference. Okay, so now you can see that we just get one uh, result that has come back and by default we got an associated array um, as you can see here. So if you don't understand passing by reference and passing by value then I have some other tutorials um, regarding this and it's something you really really need to understand. In short um, if you've got an understanding about how kind of memory works on computing this is allocating a space in memory Okay, on compile time or in on interpretation time and so on, uh, allocating the space in memory and what it's doing is it's passing in that memory address rather than the value. So inside bind parameter it knows where to go in memory to get the value, whereas this one is passing in the value, not the address. Okay. I really, really advise looking at one of my other video tutorials about passing by reference and passing by value because it's not the easiest topic to explain and it's not the easy, easiest topic to understand. But once you do understand it, then all's fine. Okay, so um, it essentially means that during this, prior to the execution, all right, we can um, say uh, user ID equals 6 for example and we can change it now it's already been put in there now I'm not quite sure whether that's been redefined let's have a check okay All right it, it's perfectly fine that's because um, we already have a variable called user ID and because we um, then changing the value of user ID this is being passed by reference therefore we've we've reset it so when bind parameter uh, when bind parameter gets called it actually hasn't been executed yet it's just stored the info it's when it gets executed is when this value comes um, apparent to the SQL whereas if we change this to uh, name and make name up here equal to David Thorne, okay, and we'll um, put a semicolon on the, on the end again, and we'll get rid of this six because we don't need that, and we'll run it again. You can see it comes back as David Thorne. Now, what was one of the other names in there? John Smith. So, um, at the moment, we've got name is uh, David Thorne. So, here we'll change name to James. Look at it. Whoops. John Smith, sorry. We'll change it to John Smith to show you the difference between bind value 
and bind parameter okay and you'll see what the result is still David Thorne that's because this here has been passed by value which means that um, this here has already been updated when bind value gets called it rewrites this one query or rewrites this one element of the SQL that's in there and replaces this information with this value whereas bind parameter only changes this information on execution okay so that's the difference between bind value and bind parameter and you need to make certain that you use them correctly um, because especially this one this can cause you so many problems so if you don't 100% understand the difference between passing by reference and passing by value then I 100% advise you to use bind value but essentially bind parameter is more powerful okay because you always know that whatever you pass in can be affected outside as well and then upon execution then it will use that one value that you want it to use all right so that's the difference between bind value and bind parameter now you can also turn around and say um, which data type it is as well okay but um, we're going to move into that in another um, video tutorial okay for the time being I just wanted to explain the difference between bind value and bind parameter okay thank you for watching my name is David Dawn I hope you learned something from this one video um, we'll go into this in more depth all right as we move on like subscribe share thumbs up all those other social networking things um, thank you bye bye then